morning everybody, uh, today I am in Limpsfield and I came to check out specifically Limpsfield Common and its air raid shelters which we can't go into, which I don't mind at all but the reason why I came here was to show you them in their beautiful glory but most importantly let's just start with what I've just shown you which was a spigot mortar trench which is so cool for you World War II aficionados out there so the idea was that as you can see spigot mortar was a type of mortar which was the idea was that they could literally put it on a plinth like that and if the Germans were attacking it was used quickly rapid fire move back to another point so like a nodal point that would have probably been used as um, but yeah there you go it says um, speaking more as I'm, I'm not even gonna you can come down here and check it yourself hang on a minute it's really bad oh there we go it's better so you go the gun's extremely heavy uh, unfortunately speaking more has this operator as it was a target which, which we kind of know already and it was designed to be mobile being mounted which you spoke about six man crew to move it there you go permanent mounting points and just move the gun along so yes and what's really cool is that bit in there finger of doom was where the ammunition would have been held it's really nice to actually see one in really good condition to be fair and uh, it's already a massive tick on my approval <laughs> rating of things that need to be conserved uh, but yeah, here we are anyway. So this is really what the main purpose of what we try and see today, which is Limpsfield Common Air Raid Shelters. Now, um, these were actually for the primary school. Uh, primary school Finger of Doom is there. And we are on part of Limpsfield Common. The whole area stretches out. And in fact, actually, um, because I know Oxted really well, because Oxted is like literally just there. Um, I know this area really, really well. And I thought, you know what? I'm in the area, I'm gonna see some friends. Let's just come down here on the way before, do this video, and then take it off. But yeah, here we are anyway. So, you can read it for yourself if you'd like to. Bit windy today, so I'm hoping. Constructed six, so we know, yeah, 500 meter long buildings. Strong renovation. They do. They do represent an important chapter in our history. That is very true. There you go. It really puts a smile on my face when I know that history like this is being conserved and it's, you know, and you, you're just getting a really nice glimpse and even though you can't go in them, it's just a pleasure that you know that at least for future generations people can on specific days come here and check these out now here we are so i'm standing at the back of these so they're the escape hatches one two three four five six should be six one two three do you look one two three four five six yes Oh dear, it's been just a busy week for me and I thought I need to see some friends, I need to get some fresh air and uh, yeah, without going into detail, like my last day at work uh, was just one of those days where you're just like, just get me out of here because I've had enough. So yeah, fresh air, historical exploring, what more can you ask for? So look, you can see the mounds. Hope I'm not going too fast and it's not just three, but anyway. Yeah. And we are high up. Um, to prove that point, I will go down there in a minute, but you can probably see it. We're not high, high up, but we're high enough up that it, you know, haven't even had a shave again. So, shave report for today, not had one because I'm going grey, so whatever. But yeah, here we are. They are locked and there's no way of going into them, but let's try it. I'll tell you what, we'll get close to going in. Because it wasn't that long ago where actually they sort of preserved them. Now, I wonder if we can with the power stretchability. We can, hang on a minute. Oh, oh, oh. It's exciting everybody, it's exciting. Hang on a minute. The old magic torch. You're gonna behave today? I think they are. As I get through the foliage, let's try it. 
illuminate this as best we can. There we go. If I drop, oh, if I drop my torch, I've had it. Let's have a look. Don't you freak out me now. Being a good torch. What if that's coming out? Oh, hello. <laughs> if only if there was something in there. There you go. Come on, torch. No. Oh, that's back around there. There you go. Whoa, there you go. So, I'm trying to do this in a very... <laughs> I can't, I'm just basically stretching through you. There you go, look. My friend will be like, friends actually, sorry. Be like, what did you get up to? Like, yeah, I just went into your air raid shelter. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it for everyone, but you get the idea. See, somebody's been a bit naughty and they've squeezed through those bars and that's not very nice, is it? See, but thank God, somebody's had the decency to put a lock on it. See, well, that one's actually better illuminated. There you go. And again. Ta da! So you can come down here yourself and you can check out on. Uh, you, all you need to do is just type in Limpsfield Air Race Shelters and they do specific tours for you to come down here. And I like that. Yep, just check the state of all these. That one definitely can't go into. Because probably some idiots have decided to properly break into that. There you go. I hate that. Same on that one. You can see, look. I mean. They are really well preserved, if I'm being honest. Here we go. That one's actually flooded. You can see that. So somewhere, I'm assuming, I'll have to have a look at that. Degradations, ah yes. <laughs> Straight away, we found, yeah, a bit of a hole. Oh. Maybe a couple more holes in the brickwork. One's a bit of an unstable one. But then what do you expect? You know. They're old. <laughs> and this is the first one. Which, again, we'll walk down. Let's have a look. And I'm assuming, because of the combination lock, this is probably the one that they would normally show people in. And obviously, because of this, they've got a gate. Oh, yeah, of course. Just realised. There we go. Oh, this torch. You don't like me, do you? There you go. And you can see the benches. Well, I think that Limpsfield School themselves have quite a big part to play in the con conservation of this place. So, yeah. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. If you run or own this place, I just want to say what an amazing job you've done. Um, because I think actually, as I've said probably before in so many of my videos before, conservation is a massive thing for me these days and I'm very aware and acutely aware that history is on the decline due to buildings and people just actually trashing them and not using them for history so if anything I'd like to think that a place like this is actually a really good example of when people actually look after something and yes granted two out of the six are in a bit of a state but what can you do you know they were designed really to 
obviously via direct impact. I mean, you know, them poor kids wouldn't have had a chance, but they probably would have gone through. Now I can't, I'm only using this from experience because I didn't actually read the plot. Because as you guessed before, it's actually one I've never been to before. I know about it. I know lots and lots about this place because it's always been a place I've always wanted to tick off. And actually probably, I want to guess maybe 10 years ago, maybe a little bit, well, even less than that, I reckon. I probably would have been fortunate enough to have gone in there, but the state of them probably wouldn't have been as good as, the condition probably wouldn't have been as good as what they are now. However, let's not worry about that, because the main focus is they are there, they're being well looked after, and that really is the main point of it, isn't it? And I think really, when you see how clean they are, you know, I'm going to have to look back at the footage of this <laughs> when I go in. But yeah, and not only that, Really, the whole idea of them walking back. Really, the main idea was you can imagine those were for school kids. Now, there's only a couple that I know of in Kent. We're in Surrey, by the way. Um, there's only a couple in Kent that I know of that are still uh, in school grounds that were designed specifically to uh, protect the kids. And so, to have something like that, especially in Surrey really nice sort of sight to see and talking about sights to see this whole area is just so beautiful i'm very fortunate that i have some friends around here who live well i'm not going to tell you where they live but let's just say if we carry on going this way they live about 20 minutes away and they will turn around to me and be like dan why were you late sorry but you know because history matters. Oh my god, I can't even believe I linked that up with, oh wow. Oh my god. Somebody give me props to that one. Jeez. But yeah, it's an amazing view that we have. There you go. So like I said before, Limpsfield, if you're watching this, take it from experience from an old old dog like me who's been to some amazing and unique places that you know I'm fully on board with the idea of what you do and I really hope that obviously the kids at the primary school take a real big interest in it as well always good to start from a young age kind of reminds me when I was younger and my parents used to take me to places like this you know and um, as you probably all are aware you know I've been to more places than I've recorded well I've been to way more places than I've recorded and partially some of the reason is because they're not there anymore and you know so I think really what a testament really what a testament to some air raid shelters that genuinely if the Germans God forbid decided to start targeting schools kids obviously their procedure to run across the playing field so let's just get this in context whilst we're here so I hope it's not too windy, but we'll get it in context. So let's get this. Here we are. So yeah, kids in the primary school. From there, running all the way across the field, straight here. Look at that, amazing. Right. I think I've blabbed on long enough. The only thing for me to say is get your asses down here, check it out for yourselves, and if you can't have the opportunity, hopefully this video has helped you. So here we are, Limpsfield Common Air Raid Shelters, Link in the Past to the Future, National Trust. I actually thought it was English Heritage, but I've been corrected there, so sorry, English Heritage, not on this occasion, but National Trust definitely. I should have known that actually, because they know Limpsfield Common, they run the whole thing. Mm. Right. It's okay to make mistakes. There we go. It's a Friends of Limpfield Common, a part of the local heritage, heritage fund. There we go. See? You can come down and read this all yourself. I'm not gonna. I've told you what you needed to know. 1949, there you go. Board of Education, as we know, produced a circular named Dairy Precautions in Schools, which we know about, which is the idea that obviously it's basically just protect schools. I don't know why I'm reading that whilst you're reading this. Da -da. And then about habitation as well, which is why some of those, I think the ones that have got the uh, certain things on, the idea is obviously for bats, who knows, uh, but there you go. Thanks always for watching, 
Hopefully you enjoyed this wonderful little video in real time. It means I don't have to edit it. Oh, phew. Easy one to say. And, uh, yeah. Amazing. It's so tempting, Just I just want to say this, to climb up on these, but actually I'm going to be really respectful today and be like, no. No. But there you go. And then, final thing, as I make my own escape. Oh, God, what is the puns today? We just end on the side of the escape hatches. There you go. Wow, two puns in one video. I don't even know what I look like today. I bought my hat with me, I completely forgot to put it on. Does that really matter? No, because history matters. Oh, God, yes, get in. Right, have a fantastic day, what are you doing? I'm just going to head my way to the Spigot Moor Trench. Have a fantastic day, what are you doing? And I will see y'all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Whoa!